Today's guest this evening is going to be appearing at Irving Plaza right here in New York City this Saturday. He also has his own comedy CD out entitled Unprotected. Please welcome the very funny Robert Schimmel. Thank you very much. I just had my gallbladder out two weeks ago and uh, one of my friends said, was it elective surgery? I said, yeah, it was Thursday night, I wasn't doing anything, and I thought maybe I'd have my gallbladder removed. <laughs> I uh, was waiting to go into surgery, I'm laying on the table, and the nurse comes in, picks up the chart, and says, okay, Richard, ready to go? I said, Richard? Who's Richard? Because I don't want to wake up in the recovery room with the doctor going, now your vagina's going to be a little sore for a few weeks. <laughs> but that's typical with this type of sex change operation. <laughs> they say that morphine's... Uh, Morphine is a very good drug, and uh, I had that when uh, I had my gallbladder removed for three days. And actually, when they took me off, I and it told them that they could take my uh, appendix too. Actually, the morphine is still in me right now, and uh, and Demerol uh, for three days. And then when I had to go to the bathroom for the first time after that, I found out what they mean by that expression, passing a brick. <laughs> Because not only does Demerol remove all the pain, it removes all the moisture from your stool. And, uh, <laughs> and I called my doctor. I said, I can't go to the bathroom. And he said, you know, maybe you ought to try an enema. And I said, you know, I think I need a jackhammer. I'm way past <laughs> the enema. And he said that Fleet makes this uh, mineral enema that will, uh, you know, loosen everything up. And I go to get the, the enema. And on the box, it says in big, bold letters, caution. Remove orange cap before inserting in rectum. Which means someone did not remove the orange cap. And then they have pictures and the instructions on how to accept the enema. And they have one position that's like the submissive, where the guy's on his knees with his head down, like, I've been a bad boy and it's enema time. And, uh, and then it says, hold the anima in as long as possible, or at least until you get back on the toilet, because uh, it's kind of embarrassing if your wife walks in and goes, hey, what happened over here? The dog did that. Yeah, it looks like you ate the cap from the fleet anima bottle. It's a lot funnier on morphine, believe me. Um, I live in L.A. and uh, they have earthquake warnings in L.A. and they say that in the event of an earthquake to stand under a doorway, I've seen pictures of earthquakes, there aren't doorways left standing. I think the Red Cross invented that to make it easier to find the bodies, all they have to do is look for the doorways. Hey, here's the doorway, yep, here's two suckers. I love doing comedy and the only job I ever had that I liked better than that was working for the drug hotline because people call real stoned and you get to mess with them on the phone because they don't know who you are. Drug hotline, help, I'm freaking out on LSD. Gee, I'm sorry, the guy you want to talk to. I live in LA and I turned some marijuana into the police once. You know, they don't know how to react when you do stuff like that. I said, I found this uh, marijuana in the street, and they said, you know, we need more citizens like you. You could do us a favor. You go to one of these Hollywood parties, see people using this stuff, give us a call, we'll come by, and you'll never be in trouble. But yeah, that's great when they kick the door down and go, you're all under arrest. Okay, Robert, you can go. <laughs> I uh, just celebrated my 23rd wedding anniversary, and, uh, you know, it... Marriages fall apart in the bedroom, I think. If you have a bad sex life, you have a bad marriage, and you have to find ways to keep it exciting and stimulating. And one night I told my wife, why don't we try something really crazy tonight? You know, something we've never done. And she said, like, what? I said, why don't you come up with something? Because I know she'll never try any of the things I suggest. And uh, <laughs> she said, well, here's something we could do. One of my girlfriends did this with her husband, and they really liked it. I'll get dressed up really sexy. We'll go to a bar. You let me go in first, you wait 15 minutes, then you come in and you act like you don't know me. And I said, okay, it's nothing close to what I would have come up with, but... <laughs> so she gets dressed up really nice, we go to this place, she goes in, I wait in the car for like 20 minutes, then I walk into the bar, I buy this girl a drink, and my wife walks over and goes, what the hell are you doing? I said, who are you? 